Yeah, yeah. Girl, you know I'm tired of the game. Yeah. I don't know if you stay at home, wish you not change. I can never change, girl, you know these streets raise me. I've been on the road, I feel the hate, it don't phase me. Yeah. Yo, what is up boys? It's your boy Oduck and today this is how you get the most FPS and the least FPS drops in GeForce Now. Basically you want to copy my settings. If you guys play on like balanced or competitive, put it on custom and make the max bitrate custom as well and move it around. Like last time in my last GeForce Now video I had it on 40 but now it's on 35. I think that's pretty good. So it uses the least amount of data. In my frame rate, put that at 120 if you have good FPS. VSync off and adjust for poor network conditions on. So yeah. And make sure to put your server location on auto. I know it says US Southwest, but I know the consequences and like the pros of US West 2. I get zero ping and yeah, it's basically like the same thing. So let's say you're in the east, you could try central, east two, northeast. And yeah, maybe one of those servers will have zero ping for you guys. So yeah, we're going to be opening up Fortnite, boys. Alright guys, the game is loading. If I do sound closer to my mic, that is because I do now have a mic arm. My keyboard should be a little bit quieter from before, as you can hear it, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, let's go check out the Fortnite settings. I usually cap mine at 120, but for the video's sake, we're going to put it on Unlimited. My settings is just view distance on Epic. And my color blind is just pro to nope. I should probably put it on do tearing up. I've been playing on that a lot. Let me change it to five real quick. Because that's the one I like playing on. Okay. Let's load up in creative. Every time you load up the game, guys, in GeForce Now, basically what it's doing is it's reinstalling the game every time you open up a game. That's why you have no replay files every time you check for it. And that's how GeForce Now works, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, let's go in creative and check out how much FPS I get and ping. GeForce Now, by the way, should increase your FPS. So if you guys do get GeForce Now, expect a big FPS boost. Like, I'm getting like 200 and with a normal Mac, I mean, I'm on a normal Mac, but if you download the normal launcher and open up the game, I would get like 10 FPS right now. So yeah, if you guys don't know what GeForce Now is, it basically helps increase FPS and it could better your ping. As you can see, the game is kind of laggy because it doesn't load up all the renders yet and stuff. So you could do a lot of stuff. Just start building. I have this FPS map too. As you can see in the top right corner, I have like 200 FPS. Look at that, that's a frame drop. To decrease frame drops, by the way, if you get ethernet cord, it'd be a lot better. But since I don't have one, my good Wi-Fi could really counter it. So if I get Ethernet cord, like a Ethernet cord, I'd be really good right now. Like with no FPS drops, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, that's how you get no frame drops on GeForce Now and better FPS. Download the app. It is called NVIDIA GeForce Now, like it says in the title. And copy my settings. You don't have to copy the max bitrate. You could always put it on auto. But don't use one of these guys. These are kind of bad. Balance data saver and competitive custom is the way to go. It's the wave boys and hopefully you guys did enjoy the video Let's try to go for 15 to 20 likes even though I know I'm saying this It'll get more because all my GeForce Now videos have been doing pretty good So I'm just gonna keep on milking it because you guys like it and you guys would like to see more of it And I might make a video on how to play stretch on GeForce Now And yeah, expect a lot of GeForce Now content I'm still going to be playing normal Fortnite if you check out my other videos as well. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Peace the heck out.